Okay, now we need to configure the static IP address to our Raspberry Pi. Now we already know the IP address, but we don't know the default gateway or the subnet. So we have two options to check it out. Normally, everyone knows if type if config. Now in here, I can see the IP address, netmask and broadcast address, but I don't see the default gateway. Normally, I use if config to check the IP addresses and interface details. Next, I'm going to use IP route. So IP route view the routing table and understand how traffic is directed. Now, if I take default, we are 192.168.86.1. This confirms that my Raspberry Pi is using 192.168.86.1 as its default gateway, meaning it will send any traffic uh, for the local network uh, 192.168.86.0 slash 24. 24 is the our uh, net mass slash 24 is our net mass. That's mean 255, 255, 255.0. As you can see in here. Now next day, WLAN, uh, WLAN 0. This indicates that the gate is reachable via the wireless interface WLAN 0. And next is uh, Proto DHCP. This shows that the IP address and the gateway information were obtained via DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. Next we have SRC 192.168.86.60. So this is our Raspberry Pi IP address on the local network. I hope this explanation clarifies that the difference between the commands and the signification of the gateway information. Now we need to write it down our uh, gateway address and our, our IP address. Okay, next we're going to check uh, which DNS server my Raspberry Pi can hit into, point into. So for that, we're going to type cat etc and um, resolve dot conf. So now we can see name server is 192.168.86.1. This is my DNS address, the Raspberry Pi connecting to. So write it down also, we need this for later when we configure the static IP address. Okay, we got all the information we want. Now let's go ahead and assign the static IP address. First, what we need to do is we're going to type sudo nano etc dhcpcd.com. I'm going to enter the password for my user interface. My interface is WLAN 0. That's my Wi Fi. If you're using your Ethernet, you can type ETH0, your PA, static IP address. In this case, I'm going to use 192.168.86.60, which is, I already reserved in the DHCP on my router. 24, this is the subnet. You remember I told you 255, 255.255.255.0, that's the net mask. Static routers. That's the default gateway we uh, test. Dot 168.1.1. My bad, I'm going to use 86.1. We're going to say static domain name service. 192.168.1.1. 1 .1. So now the static domain name servers can be set to your routers, router or specific DNS server like Google. So in my case, I'm going to point into the Google 8.8.8.8. .8 so we have the interface uh, WLAN 0, that's my Wi Fi interface, and we have a static IP address 192.168.86.60 slash 24 is the static IP I want my uh, Raspberry Pi and after that static 
routers 192.168.86.1 is uh, my router's IP address uh, default gateway so the third one is static domain name servers that's our DNS servers we are going to point into 8.8.8.8 that is the Google public uh, DNS address I'm going to say control X Save the modified. I'm going to type Y. Yes. Enter. Let's save. Now we're going to restart the DHCP service. I'm going to type sudo service DHCPCD restart. Okay. If you encounter any issues, try to reboot. Type sudo reboot. The reboot is done. I'm going to SSH from my Windows box. I'm going to type SSH. I'm going to type the username and the IP address of the, my uh, Raspberry Pi 86.60. That's the static IP address I configure. So I able to my Raspberry Pi machine. Uh, just in case, if you found any kind of DHCP issues, please check out my separate video how to troubleshoot that DHCP issues. I believe the DHCP issues only to my machine because I was doing something else before that. So I encounter issue when I restart the services. So I able to fix that and I create a separate video just in case and i'm going to upload to my youtube channel and you will find in my youtube channel or description field or my channel list please take a look if you also get that dhcp issue when you restart in the services and this is how you configure the static ip address to your raspberry pi if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video